Okay, in this problem, we're going to prove that 2 to the n is greater than n cubed for every integer n greater than or equal to 10. And we're going to do it using the principle of mathematical induction. So proof. Okay, so we'll start with the first step, which is called the base case. I always like to label the steps. And so the base case is the starting point. So in this case, uh, we care about integers greater than or equal to 10, so we're starting at 10. So we have to verify that our statement is true when n is equal to 10. This is our statement, by the way. Um, so if you want to give it a name, you can call it um, s sub n. So basically, in the base case, we have to verify that it's true when n is equal to 10. So all we have to do is basically plug in 10. So 2 to the 10th is a really big number. Um, 2 to the 10th is equal to 1,024. And 10 cubed is also um, a really big number. It's equal to 1,000. So you see that um, we have that 2 to the 10, right? Our n is 10. It's bigger than n cubed, so 10 cubed. So that means that s sub 10 is true. So we have shown that the base case is true. Okay, the next step is called uh, the induction step. Some people do it, uh, you know, they combine the next step into uh, one step. I like to do this in three steps instead of two. So let's write down what's called the induction hypothesis and then we will finish this up. So induction hypothesis. Or simply IH. So the, in the induction hypothesis, uh, this is the step where we assume that our statement is true for some arbitrary positive integer k that is greater than or equal to 10. So we just have to write that down. So we'll say suppose that our statement is true, so 2 to the k is greater than k cubed for some positive integer k, and it's greater than or equal to 10. I have a feeling we're going to have to use that. That's going to be really important as well. Okay, so now um, let's do the induction step. So induction step. Okay, so in the induction step, what we have to do is show our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So our statement uh, is 2 to the n greater than um, n cubed. So we have to show, so we need to show, NTS means need to show, that 2 to the k plus 1 is bigger than k plus 1 cubed. So that's what we have to show. Notice I wrote we need to show. So like if you're, you know, doing this like for a class or something or you're learning, um, you don't write this down without claiming it. So this is what we actually have to prove. So, you know, uh, make sure that you write this down before writing that down. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. Um, I have it memorized. It's k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. So um, you could multiply it out using Pascal's triangle or write it down three times and distribute or, or memorize it. But I'm doing this because this p this is going to help us, right? This is going to help us figure out the problem. So basically, we have to show this is true. Okay, now let's try to do it. So note. So the way I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to start with this side, 2 to the k plus 1, and then eventually we're going to show it's greater than this, okay? So we have 2 to the k plus 1. All right, so now we somehow have to involve the induction hypothesis, which is up here. So here it's 2 to the k. So here it's 2 to the k plus 1. So let's do this. Let's write this as 2 to the k times 2 to the 1. And you can do that because when you multiply these, the bases are the same. So you end up adding the exponents, okay? So now we can use the induction hypothesis which says that 2 to the k is bigger than k cubed. So I'm just going to put a greater than symbol here, and then we get to replace the 2 to the k with k cubed. So I'm just going to write it uh, as k cubed times 2.
just like that. And yeah, so all we did was replace the 2 to the k with k cubed. And this step here is by the induction hypothesis. I'm going to put a little arrow here and write by ih. This is the key step in the proof, right? It's one of the key steps. Um, it's always really important to identify where you use your induction hypothesis. So now we need to have tons of foresight and hopefully some ingenuity if we can figure this out so that we can figure this out. So we have 2k cubed here. I'm going to write it. Um, I'll just leave it like that for now. So we're trying to show that this is greater than this. So we're trying to somehow get to something that's bigger than what I've just underlined here. So we've already got a k cubed here, right? So that leads me to say, okay, for now, this is 2 times k cubed. So let's write it as k cubed plus k cubed. And we're doing that because we already have a k cubed here. So this one here, boom, we're done. We've got it right here at this one here. So we're just going to leave those circled ones alone. So let's work with k cubed. So how can we make k cubed bigger than what's left? That is the question. So what I am thinking is that we do have to use this condition here. And also, there is no k cubed here in this expression. There are only k squareds. So let's try something like this. I think we can do something like this. k cubed, check this out, plus, and then let's do k times k squared, right? You can do that, right? Because it's k to the one times k to the two, which is k cubed. You say, why am I doing that? Because now we have a k squared, and that's what we want. So now we can use this condition that k is greater than or equal to 2. So this is greater than or equal to k cubed plus 10 k squared, right? So we're just replacing the k with the 10 and boom, using this condition. And this is beautiful because now what we can do is we can write something down that's bigger than this. Watch this. This is k cubed plus, well, I do want a 3k squared there, so I'm going to put it there. And then we need something bigger than um, 3k and something bigger than um, 1. So I'm just going to do like plus 3k uh, and then uh, plus uh, how many more k's do we need? Whoops, uh, 4k squared. Right? 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. Yeah, we're okay. So I just broke this up into four pieces because we have four pieces here, right? So I'm trying to, to make it work. <laughs> so, all right. So what else do we got? So this is k cubed. This is 3k squared. So I think now we can do something like this. This is greater than or equal to k cubed plus 3k squared. Okay, we want this to be greater than or equal to 3k, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious because k is bigger than 10, right? So 3k squared, 3k squared, you can think of that as, um, you know, 3k times k, and that's greater than or equal to 3k. I mean, if you really want to really go all out times 10 and that's certainly bigger than 3k times 1 which is 3k so I mean this is definitely going to be bigger than this it's not it's a non-issue so I'm going to go ahead and make that replacement likewise 4k squared is bigger than 1 because k is bigger than 10 right same deal so plus 1 and so this is equal to k plus 1 cubed and so look at that so we have that 2 to the k plus 1 what a cool problem it's great stuff is greater than, you take the strongest inequality, right, which comes from that key step we talked about, is greater than k plus 1 cubed. And that's precisely what we had to show, right? That was uh, the statement being true for n equals k plus 1. So now we just say, so s of k plus 1 is true. So we did it, right? We, we finished the proof. We showed that uh, the base case was true. And then we showed that uh, if it's true when n equals k, it's true when n equals k plus 1. So we've completed the proof. So now you just say something like thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, We have, and the original statement was, I believe it was 2 to the n greater than n cubed. Yep. We have 2 to the n is greater than n cubed for every integer n greater than or equal to 10, right? That was the, uh, the original statement we had, just to show you again. Uh, at the beginning, 2 to the n bigger than n cubed for every integer n greater than or equal to 10. And then 
put like a QED. I'll do a box with an X. So yeah, that's it. Kind of a cool problem. Um, I think the, this part here is pretty, this, be, this becomes pretty routine here. And I think maybe the hardest part is right here. Just the step here, you know, knowing to involve K squared because you're trying to create that inequality and then using the, the K and the 10. Then once you get here, it's pretty easy to just break it up and it's pretty easy to see that it works. So yeah, good luck. Take care.